It's raining. You know what that means? I can Netflix and chill today. You could do some aerial conditioning. What? No. Come on. I never get to Netflix and chill. Kate, you said you wanted to be an aerial champion, didn't Ugh, you? Fine. Well, I guess the maid quit because this floor is dirty. Anyway, let's start in a tabletop position. Fingertips are going to spread wide to distribute our weight through our hands. Now I want your shoulders stacked over your wrist. Um, when you feel comfortable in this tabletop, extend one foot out and then extend the other one and hold this. We're going to plank it out, engaging our core muscles. You might feel some shakiness in your shoulders. Don't be tempted to lean back and stick your butt in the air. This is more of a downward dog position. Also, don't be tempted to let your booty sink or your hips sink down. This could be a good stretch, but not what we're doing today. I want a nice solid plank as if someone can serve dinner on your back. Nice deep breath here. Now, trying to maintain hip stability, I want you to lift one hand. This is easier if your feet are spread apart. Lift one hand, tap a shoulder. Lift the other hand, tap the other shoulder. Lift, tap. That's two, three, four. Last one. Go ahead, take it down, child's pose. Coming back up to our plank, I want us to lift our right heel, flexing our foot, engaging your glutes and your hamstrings to do the lift. You'll feel your opposite leg engage the quad to support you. Let that heel down, other foot. Hold, 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 other foot. Ah, oh, my legs are shaking. Set it down, other foot. Last time, right foot up, nice and strong. Nice and strong. And child's pose. All right, for this next one, I'm going to flip my mat uh, perpendicular to myself so I stay in the frame. Otherwise, you can just keep your mat however, you're, however it is situated. Um, next, you're gonna grab your grandmother's favorite dish towel. If you're on um, carpet, then a paper plate will do the trick or one of those Pilates slider discs, but if you have a very nice dish towel, go ahead and use it. I Next, you're gonna place your hands in a plank position. Shoulders are stacked over your wrists. You're gonna place your feet on the slider or whatever it is you're using, and you're gonna extend out into plank. From here, I want us to bring our knees in, but keeping our back nice and straight. Knees come in and straight. Knees come in and straight. Knees come in and out. Notice how I'm not piking up. While that is a great exercise, we're not doing that today. And notice how I'm not rounding and coming to chill mode. I am extending out and in, out and in. Let's do eight more. That's six, four, last.
last one. I think there was a bonus round in there. I don't know. I'm horrible at counting. Tuck your knees, child's pose, take a break. And notice the nice clean mark on your floor. Thanks, Grandma. Are you having fun yet? I sure am. <laughs> Let's give our arms a break and work on our hollow body holds. It's extremely important as an aerialist, gymnast, or whatever it is you like to do, that we have a good connection with our hollow body. I want us to come to our mat and just lay flat on your back. Knees are up. And I want us to close our eyes and feel where our spine and our back is relative to the floor. I'm gonna move my arms out of the way so you can see better, but just keep your arms where they are relaxed and comfortable. Now, as you're laying there, you might feel that you have this arch in your back. I'm over-exaggerating it, of course, but if you can get a hand underneath your back, then that is not proper engagement. I want you to posteriorly tilt the pelvis or tuck it under to get all of your vertebra in one line on the floor. You'll know when it happens. It feels comfortable to me anyway to have my back supported by the floor. Now when you're comfortable with this, I want you to extend one foot out at a time and feel how that changes your alignment. For me, having tight hip flexors, my pelvis tilts up and I have this gap underneath. See, you can see my fingers. So I have to work harder to make sure all my vertebrae stay on the floor. So just practice that for a moment. Tilt your pelvis, try to get a hand under. Relax and see if you can get a hand under. And just feel what that feels like. Now, when you're comfortable with that, I want you to, what do I want you to do? I want you to do all the things. Anyway, go ahead and Lift your head up, just so your shoulder blades are off the floor, and extend your legs in front of you. This is a typical, common, basic hollow body hold. If your belly is pooching up like mine is, I don't know if you can see it, that is your rectus abdominis engaging. I want a flat belly, so suck the belly in and hold. Your transverse abdominis is is core to core stability. No, um, your transverse abdominis is the sucking in muscle. When your belly pooches up, it is your rectus abdominis, which is not really a key component in core activation. It is a muscle that you need for your core, but it is not the biggest player. If this is too hard, go ahead and drop your drop a toe down. Or keep it up. If you want extra challenge, hands go by your head or lower your feet. And relax down. It's hard to talk and have hollow body. Jeez. Anyway, let's get another hold in with proper engagement. So sucking the belly in, making sure it's nice and flat not letting the rectus abdominis dominate. And then um, from there, we'll go on to more fun stuff. So go ahead and lift your head, let your legs come out. If you want it easier, you can lift your legs up. Harder is lower, hands out. Or you can drop your toe, however you need to modify. Three, two, one. Whew, 
I'm getting a sweaty. From here, I want us to sit up on our, just sit up. Why does everything have to be an overly explained? Sit up. From here, I want you to bring your knees into your chest and you're gonna sit back on to your sits bones and come to this position. Legs are nice and flat. They're not here. They're not up. Nice and flat. Hands come along your shins and I want us to long boat out and short boat. Long boat, short boat. Stroking my legs makes me feel sexy. You got five more. Three, two, and then we're gonna hold it out. And lower it out. Whew. All right, now it's time to get our obliques into the mix. If you have a weight, go ahead and grab that now. I got these at a thrift store. Why spend big money when you don't have to? Anyway, um, I like to hold a weight. This is like an eight pound weight that somebody spray painted red. Only the finest equipment here. Come to your short boat position. Legs are nice and flat. And I want us to sit up and then turn and tap the weight. Sit up and then turn tapping the weight. Sit up, turn, tap. Sit up, tap. Notice it's not this. This really doesn't do anything for your core. It's boring. I want you to sit up, turn, sit up, Who's counting? Cause I'm not. <laughs> like probably my worst habit is like, I forget to count. I just go until it burns, until I'm shaking. <sighs> Let's do three more. Last one. Get off your bleeping phone. Let's work on our hip flexor to lower abdominal muscle engagement. I want our hands to sit up nice and tall. You can lean back for this if you need to, but leaning back is gonna be easier. Leaning forward is gonna be harder. So sit up nice and tall. And I want us just to lift one leg and set it down. Point your toes, lift the other leg, set it down. Nice and straight, lift a leg, set it down. Notice how my quad is pressing down, making my leg straighter. It's not this. We are not sloppy, we are aerial champions. So, engage your quad, lift that leg, nice and straight. Lift it, straight. Lift, straight. Lift, straight. You can Tent your fingers to keep your chest open rather than slouching. That doesn't look very nice. So sit up nice and straight. Lift. 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 And now we're going to do two together. Lift. I like to press my fingertips into the floor without leaning back to help me lift my legs. So press, lift, press and lift, press, lift. My quads are burning. Last one, and let's hold it up. And lower it down. Whew, let me see if that shake it.
it out. All right, so next we're gonna take a nice, comfortable straddle. We're not, this is not a stretch, just open your legs a little bit. If you have trouble sitting in this position, put a block underneath your butt and sit there. However, if you're comfortable flat, then stay flat. And what I want us to do is we're going to lift, we're gonna face one leg, and we're gonna lift it. Lift, and set it down. Lift, set it down. Notice how my other leg is pointed and engaged also. It's not just here, sloppy, sloppy. No, we're working on getting our invert straight and pretty. So engage both of your quads, put your awareness in both your legs, but just lift one. Lift. And set down. Lift, set it down. Lift, set it down. Lift, set it down. Lift, set it down. Let's do five more. Lift, lift. Three, two, last one, and then we'll hold it up. Oh, my leg is shaking. You see the foot? Ah, my other foot. Go ahead and set it down. Shake it out. Return to your straddle, point your toes, look at the other foot, and lift. Lift, lift, lift. You might notice that one leg is harder to lift and the other leg is easier. Like this one. our legs nice and straight we're gonna practice actually inverting but not in the air so come down to your elbows you've earned a break extend both feet out heels are together knees are together and I want us to lift extend bringing our knees as close to our nose as we can and then lift or lower Lift, lower. Notice how my heels don't come all the way down to the ground. They kind of hover and then come back up. And notice how it's not this, whatever it is that you do. Straight, engage the quads, nice straight legs, pointed toe, straight, 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 and lower. Let's do 10. I'll count this time, I promise. Eight more. Six. Four. Three, and we'll straddle. Two. Last one, bring it up and straddle open. Close, straddle open, close, open, close, open, close. Five more. Three. Last one and set it down. Now we're gonna pike up, open, extend down. This might be a little stiff in your hip flexor. If you're feeling that stuck feeling, don't go down all the way. Just come up, just make that range of motion comfortable. We'll do five more and then we'll change directions. Three. Two. Last one. Ah, my legs burn. Ah. Take it the other way. We're going to straddle open and pike to lower. 
lower down. So straddle, open, lift, lower down. You may notice that one way is easier than the other. For me, it's the straddle open, lifting up in a straddle rather than lowering down in the straddle. You got five more. Last one. Nicely done. See, that wasn't so bad. And now you're on your way to becoming an aerial champion.